Hi friends, welcome to GMK Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see about the architectural level approaches. Generally, this is architecture level refers to the register transfer level. It consisting of orders, multipliers, read only memories, and like this. As well as the high level synthesis techniques that transforms this behavioral level specification to RTL level transfer specification. So in this uh, approach, parallel uh, architecture level approaches, we are using a parallelism and pipelining and power management. These are the, some of the best effective techniques to reduce the power dissipation. Generally, parallelism means that where uh, parallelism means that uh, where performing it is used to improving the performance. Traditionally, this parallelism means that which is used to improve the performance parameter. But if you go for this uh, low power applications, it is used to use it for the like uh, reducing the power dissipation that is a basic intention in case of the parallelism as well as uh, in this case of the if you want to perform the parallelism obviously we have to duplicate the device the duplication of the device is nothing but uh, generally uh, consisting of the operations whatever the operations will be there that operations all the uh, discussed in the scenario so that is the basic scenario we have to approach of the so the let me clear it is a very clear right guys if you are doing such a kind of the activities we have to see very important consideration also as well as uh, the duplication of the device is nothing but just we are taking the one more copy of the adder. So obviously let us see with the help of a example in case of the parallel processing let us see the uh, this is a so one more important point is nothing but in case of the parallel processing we are taking the frequency is uh, linearly depends on the supply voltage. If you are reducing the supply voltage obviously frequency of the circuit is also lower. As well as simply if the supply voltage is reduced by half the power is also reduced by one fourth. Therefore, the performance is also lowered by half. So, in order to compensate that uh, loss in the performance, we will go for the parallelism. So, so that can be accomplished with respect to the uh, splitting the competition into two independent tasks and running in a parallel manner. Therefore, we can achieve the performance of the circuit in a better way also. Let us see with respect to the example for that one. So, it is a 16 bit adder actually. So the 16 bit adder is taken for the reference circuit for the parallelism. So in this case, the 16 bit adder is used to perform the addition of the two 16 bit registers that can be given by the inputs with the help of A and B registers and we are taking the output across the 16 bit register. So let us see in this case of the um, second situation. So the basic intention of the parallelism is nothing but just we are taking the 16 bit register right. So that 16 bit register can be taken as a one more copy that is nothing but duplication that the duplication of the register can be taken into the consideration as well as we are reducing the supply voltage to the corresponding circuit is nothing but V reference by 2 and the frequency is also referenceable. But we are taking the output across the reference that is nothing but whatever the original frequency is there across the original frequency we are taking the inputs. So overall that means the basic intention is nothing but generally power dissipation P is equal to C V square F. That means if you are reducing the supply voltage, obviously power dissipation is also decreases. As well as the performance is also decreases. So that's why that can be compensated with respect to the parallelism. Parallelism is used to basically improving the performance. So that's why we can use in low power application, right? As well as this is the scenario in case of the. So it is nothing but 16 bit register whatever we are taking in the previous video. So each and every notation can be represented as a V reference because of that can be taken as a reference value right as well as. So this is a uh, representation of the dynamic power equation that is nothing but P reference is equal to C reference into V square into F reference. So this is a basic equation we need to perform the scenario. Let uh, let's move on to the next one. The, so as well as. 10 nanoseconds is the delay in this circuit, but we will get the F reference value is equal to 100 megahertz because of 10 nanoseconds is nothing but uh, generally we know that F is equal to 1 by T. So T is nothing but 10 nanoseconds means 10, 10 power minus 10, then you will go for the upside it becomes as a 10 power 8. So that is nothing but 100 into 10 power 6, that is nothing but 10 megahertz. So that is a calculation just. So let's move on to this one. So uh, this because of all the notations can be represented in the form of A. Uh, reference uh, C reference F reference because of we are taking that register is a C, uh, reference circuit. So for that purpose only we are taking the situation, right? So obviously you guys are very familiar and each and every concept is included in the parallel processing. That is the most effective way to reduce the 
parallel processing in power dissipation concept as well as coming to the next one if you are using the 16 bit address in the duplicate format overall number of devices is also increases as the number of devices is increases means that obviously uh, the capacitance of the circuit is also increased by a factor of so let us say in case of the 16 bit reference the power supply is also reduced by half because of the duplication of the adder and the capacitance are increased by a factor of 2 therefore the overall capacitance of the circuit is increased to 2.2 type set of the c reference therefore if you are substituting that value in the previous equation that is nothing but in this equation we will get that value is equal to around 0.227 so that is the basic intensity so therefore the overall power dissipation in case of the uh, low power applications can be achieved with respect to with the help of a parallelism that means we will conclude that parallelism plays a very important role in the low power applications to reduce the power dissipation so that can be depicted in this uh, uh, table so this is the these are the parameters area power throughput suppose uh, without vdd scaling we will get area is nothing but 2.2 times set of the x and 2.2 times of x to x so where x represents the original value that means if you are performing the parallelism without vdd we will get the values like this at the same time if you are reducing the supply voltage and the uh, supply voltage uh, then we will get the uh, overall power dissipation can be reduced to 0.227x and the area is also same and the uh, throughput is also same so from this conclusion we will conclude that this parallelism plays a very important role to reduce the power why because the area is not decreases means that parallelism means that we can duplicate the device that means obviously number of components increases therefore that leads to area of the uh, device is also increases as well as area is also increases means that obviously internally some delay will be takes place that leads to the performance may be decreases right so that is a basic condition the same concept can be applied to multi core or low power application the basic idea behind the parallelism for low power can be extended to realization of the multi core architecture that is nothing but nowadays we are using the multi core process in our laptop also that like whatever the famous uh, fabric um, famous uh, 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 companies whatever we uh, they will produce a as so, uh, like uh, laptops and uh, desktop applications like uh, we will consider intel amd and other processor manufacturing companies also follow the same basic idea so that is a basic idea. so this is a diagrammatic representation how this multi core structure will be there so in this case also same thing we will take uh, core 1 core 2 core 2 core 4 so it's like a multiplier we are applying the inputs through the corresponding latch four latches will be there so overall frequency 200 megahertz this 200 megahertz clock can be applied as a 50 megahertz for first one and the remaining 50 for second one so like that we are applying the frequency uh, with a frequency of 50 hertz to the each and every core and we will take the output across the 200 megahertz that means the uh, overall output cannot be changed but we will improve the performance of the circuits by reducing the power supplies and frequency and all those things so there is a, just a basic behind, basic idea behind the parallel processing so uh, what is the effect of the parallel processing in the power dissipation let it be see that is depicted in this picture so if you are taking a single core with a clock frequency of 200 megahertz with a supply voltage of 5 volts we will get the total power dissipation 15 right at the same time suppose if you are reducing the uh, increasing the number of cores by a 2 and the clock frequency 100 megahertz supply voltage is nothing but then we will get 8.94 so let us see last one is nothing but so from this all discussion you will come to the one conclusion is nothing but if the number of cores are increases and clock frequency is decreases as well as supply voltage is also decreases overall power dissipation is also decreases that is the basic intention of the parallelism so the parallelism is nothing but which is used to reduce the power dissipation so that is the basic uh, uh, idea behind the parallelism in low power applications generally the basic uh, uh, purpose of the parallelism is not to improving the performance but in case of our low power applications it is used to reduce the power dissipation because of you know that generally p is directly proportional to c into vdd square into s so that means if you are in case if you are re reducing the both uh, frequency if you are reducing both frequency and the supply voltage obviously the power dissipation is also decreases so 
that is a uh, overall introduction about the parallel processing i think uh, you guys are uh, very clear this is uh, very helpful for each and everyone so thank you for watching gmk tutorial for us